What's up? It's your girl Nelly Marie back again with another video. And as you see in that title below, today's video is going to be about how I made ten thousand dollars off of a forty thousand dollars salary in only three short months. Yes, three months. Um, I made ten thousand dollars, and I'm basically just going to be giving you guys tips on how I saved money and the tips that I used to achieve the goal that I wanted. Um, so the tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today doesn't have to only go to money. It could go to any goal that you wanted to apply to basically if you wanted to lose weight if you wanted to start eating healthy basically you can use these tips to get on track to stay focused to get motivated to achieve your goal so you already watching you came this far you might as well continue watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel Okay, guys, you here today, you seen in that title, how I made $10,000. Everybody want to make $10,000, everybody want to make money, period, right? Everybody want to make money, so I felt like this is an interesting video to do. Um, and $40,000 is not a lot of money. I feel like it's not a lot of money at all to be making as a young adult. So, I want to give you guys proof, obviously, so we're going to start the video off like that. And here go the $10,000. All of these are, why well, am I doing it this way? Are actually hundreds in here. Okay, so tip number one. Tip number one is very, very, very simple and it's a starter. Know what you want. Like, I'm basically saying make sure that's really what you want to do. Because there's no way you're going to achieve a goal or in my case, get ten thousand dollars without being determined without being ready to actually get it so just make sure that's really 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 what you want to do like if you really really want to lose weight make sure put that in your head like i really want to lose weight i gotta do this for myself i gotta get this money i gotta it's something that i really really want to buy i need to move up in life i need to do this say friends you want to buy a home you want to buy a car like i need a car to drive around i need a home i can't keep renting out apartments stuff like that so basically it's just make sure that's really 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 what you want to do make sure that's what you have time to do make sure it's a realistic goal first of all make sure it's something super realistic and don't be like oh i'm trying to make ten thousand dollars in a week like how unless you're a millionaire or you out here hustling or you just you got it like that you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day just make sure that's what you want to do because if it's not what you want to do you're not going to be determined you're not you're not going to want to do it you're not going to get up and actually do it if it's something that you really don't want so just make sure you really really want it that's the first tip and that's what all i can say because that's what helped me achieve my goal i wanted ten thousand dollars it's something that i really really wanted to buy and that's what i saved up to ten thousand dollars for so yeah period make sure that's what you want that's tip number one so if you keep seeing me look down it's because i'm reading my notes that i made um regarding this video so now we on to tip number two stay motivated constantly remind yourself of the outcome remind yourself what you're doing this for remind yourself that yeah it's hard but at the end it's gonna be well worth it like it's gonna be um overwhelming joy like you're gonna be happy that you actually stuck it out and accomplished your goal so in my case um why do you need the ten thousand dollars like i was stating previously on the first tip just remember like if you want to save up for a car I'm going to be able to have a car. I'm going to be able to go anywhere that I want. I'm going to be able to, shit, Uber and make more money if I wanted to, if I get this car, you know. Just think of ways that's going to keep you motivated. And in my case, saving $10,000, what kept me motivated is in my bank account. I constantly see in my bank account grow, grow, grow. So I'm like, damn, I could do it. Like, I'm up there. Like, once you get to like 5,000, you like, oh yeah, baby. I'm not about to spend this money. I'm about to just save the 10,000. I'm about to save and get to my goal, the $10,000. And that's what kept me motivated. I kept seeing my bank account grow and grow and grow. So I was just amped. I'm like, yes, I'm finally paying my bills off and I'm able to achieve what I want to buy. And I have my money that uh, that's just in my bank account. You know what I'm saying? So let me give you an example as far as working out. So if you want to lose 15 pounds, 
Every day you go to the gym, you eating right, you going to the gym. When you weigh yourself at the end of the day, so you can constantly see those pounds shed off. And it's going to keep you motivated. Like, oh my God, I just lost four pounds. I really could lose 15 pounds. Just constantly motivate, motivate yourself. Um, think of a reminder that can remind you of your ending goal. So that's basically it. It's just staying motivated. Have little reminders to yourself that remind you of your end goal. That's it. That was tip number two. Hands down, period. Now we on tip number three. So tip number three is kind of the most important tip here because it's just make sure you have no access to whatever is gonna be holding you back from your goal. So with me is I always, my, I have direct deposit from my job and my money goes straight into my account. So I always switch my money over as soon as it hit into my account. I switch it over from my check-ins account to my savings account so I couldn't even touch it. And you can't go on your savings account, um, I believe, more than three times a month, but still, period. It's just like keeping, act, like don't have access to, basically what I'm trying to say is do not have access to whatever that's going to stop you from achieving your goal or obtaining your goal. So... If you got money and you don't even got a bank account, like, give it to your mom to hold or whatever. Like, just don't have that money always in your face 24-7 because you're eventually going to touch it. You're eventually going to go to the go to um, the money pile or whatever, wherever you have it and then start taking little by little out and eventually you're just going to start using it. So just make sure you have no access to the money or to the goal, whatever you're trying to receive achieve so for example we're going to go back to if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to eat healthy you working out and stuff like that do not buy snacks don't have access to it don't bring snacks into your home don't bring bad foods into your home because if you don't have it in your home you can't wake up in the middle of the night you can't cook it you can't eat it like just don't period don't have it and that's gonna make you um, obtain your goal like you're not gonna have access to it money wise don't have no access to your money period and that's what I did. Like I told you, as soon as the direct deposit hit, I switched it over in my savings so fast. And that's what made me um, achieve my goal. So the thing is, at times, it was like I really only had like $100 or $200, maybe $500 in my check-ins account. And I just put enough in my check-ins account that I had enough for gas, that I had enough for food, that I had enough... Um, just basically to survive on a daily living, like if you needed little things for the house, I had enough to buy that. But at the end of the day, the lump sum of my money, I hurry up and switched it to my savings account because like I said, I had a goal and I was focused and I was ready and motivated to get my goal. So this is why, you. that's why I told you in the beginning for tip number one, you have to really be um, ready and make sure that's really, really, really what you want. You have to be honest with yourself. Like, hey, is that the goal that I'm, is that really what I'm trying to receive? Is that the goal that I want to do right now? Like, you have to be focused. Put your mind to it. Like, make sure that's really, really, really what you want because it's going to be hard if you don't. If you're not really interested in your goal, like, you don't really care. It's like something like, okay, yeah, I might do it. Or I have all year to do it, so it's not really that big of a deal. Then just don't do it. Don't do it until you focus because it's not going to get done. It's not. So... Tip number three, once again, reiterate it. Do not have access to your money. Don't have access to anything that's going to hold you back from your goal. That's it. Okay, so we on to the last tip, y'all. We on tip number four. And this ties in kind of with number three and how I was giving examples of um, I only had in my checkings account enough money for me to uh, basically survive in life. So this tip number four is basically just saying make sure you budget your money before you actually get access to the money. So my case is money, obviously, but in other people's case, case, it could be anything, whatever goal that you want. Just make sure you budget it. Make sure you write it down. Like for me, I wrote down exactly what my bills were going to be um, that month. So I was able to take it out and I was able to see exactly what I had left over to just survive and buy stuff on a daily living, such as food. I even budget my food out. I'm not even going to lie. I budget my food out. I budget my gas out. I budget everything out so I knew exactly what I needed and what I was putting in my savings. So by you doing that, it's like you're staying motivated. You're constantly thinking about what you need and so you can achieve your goal. So like I was saying... Tip number four, 
budget your money just like if you were trying to lose weight and you were trying to eat healthy you would have to write down exactly what you eat in so you can know how much calories you're taking in and receiving on the daily so that's just an example make sure you budget and make sure you know keep up with it it's just gonna keep you motivated it's gonna make you happy and you're gonna be like you're one step closer to your goal all right guys so that is a wrap that's basically what I did really honestly to achieve the ten thousand dollars in three months while paying my bills and surviving in life all off of a forty thousand dollar salary that's the crazy part because forty thousand dollars is really not a lot <laughs> but yeah so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like more videos you can comment below and just let me know what videos you would like me to do and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow my instagram is nelly underscore 143 and my twitter is nelly marie i'll catch y'all later in the next video